still not at my office, as you can clearly tell, but we're going to be taking a look at another action camera here. This is the Ham Swan uh, F60, I believe. F60 action camera. I'll make sure to pack check that before I confirm it. Ham Swan F60 action camera. And what it is is at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And mostly what we did was did a little bit of dash cam driving around. We did 1080p, a little bit of 720p at 60 frames per second. And we strapped it to some small children and let them fall down a lot to see how durable it was. We also actually put it in a creek. I initially wasn't planning on doing that. But uh, we wanted to check a few things and see what we thought about it to see if it's worth the $66 price tag that it has to offer. We have some extra cool video that we're going to be uploading on it as well that I have still the SD card in here. So I'll be pulling that out and editing that into the video so you can see a little bit about what's going on with it. It does have a pretty intuitive menu and uh, compared to the last action camera I looked at, the menu is pretty easy to navigate with uh, some simple clicks. It takes a little bit of getting used to with any of these uh, small menus, but it's actually pretty nice all in all. You do get two batteries with it. One of the downsides to this, just like the other one, is that you have to charge the battery while it's inside the camera itself. But unlike the other camera, the Muson one that I looked at, you can actually transfer the data off of it from the camera itself, where I couldn't do that with the other one. I can here, and I like that a lot better, and I think that that's something that's worth it in itself. One thing that uh, should be mentioned as well, though, is though you get a lot of attachments for this, they're largely for helmets, things like that, uh, handlebar attachments as well. You don't get a cool remote, which I really liked. I like the ability to have the remote, and while you can use the Final Cam app to sort of be the remote for this camera, the actual remote itself was just a nice feature that came with the competitor brand. It's nice to be able to sit there and have a remote that you can tell to hit record or take pictures or stop record or, you know, don't press it to not take pictures, I guess. But... That is a nice thing that I wish that this had. Now, what a lot of people will do with that is strap it to their wrist so that when they're out doing something, they can just reach over and tell it to start recording now. You get about three to four hours out of it when it's fully charged on its battery. It does go into a sleep power saver mode, which is something that's a nice feature to kind of help not kill the battery. It's a small 1200 mAh battery, I believe. And uh, while it's advertised as 900 mAh, they send you two small 1200 mAh. So, hey, hooray, there's a perk there. You got something a little more than you thought you were with that. Ultimately, though, I think uh, this is just a nice action camera for messing around with. It's not a, a GoPro. It's not a GoPro Hero at $400. It's just something you can simply take with you on little adventures you're doing or, or what have you. If you're somebody that's worried about spending a lot of money on an action camera, I would suggest starting with one of these smaller, more affordable options because it's something that will provide you the ability to see if it's something you would like to keep up with to maybe make a bigger investment in the future. Uh, a lot of this I like to relate to what I call the Fitbit conundrum. Everybody wants a Fitbit. Everybody has to have a Fitbit, and then a month or two months later, they're done with their Fitbit. Nobody cares except for the people that are real workout workoutaholics. So there's that to kind of take with a grain of salt, I guess, when it comes to something like an action camera like this. You want to be able to have something that's nice. You want it to look good. You want it to come with the accessories you want it to have, and you want it to be able to perform the way you want it to. This does at 1080p at 30 frames. Probably would have liked to have seen at least 1080p at 60 frames, since there are some competitors out there around the same price range that boast 4K, like the Muson one I looked at. Now, while the Muson records at 4K, I'm doing that with air quotes because it's more of a stretch rendered picture than it is actual ultra high definition. I don't really believe it to be ultra high definition, but just more so the stretched picture. Think of when you look at a picture on your computer and you zoom in with the mouse wheel, it looks a little more pixelated, a little more grainy. That's kind of the idea behind that one. This one doesn't market itself beyond what it is and will appear to have good quality images as I'll show throughout this video as we do it.
Anyways guys, if you're considering getting into the world of action camera ing, then this Hamswan camera right here is something I'd probably recommend trying out. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Anyways guys, have a great day, night, whatever it is. I'll see you in the next video that I do.